Hello my friends, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel and today we've got some news. We finally got some patch notes from an official patch that is coming tomorrow, 5th of September. Now this is fixing a few things on PC, such as PC stuttering on ultra graphic settings, some voice chat issues on lobbies. But the big thing about this patch is that it is finally fixing the XP progression. So what it says here on the patch notes is this fix resolves a UI issue that would appear to rank up after every match despite not gaining the required XP to do so. This fix also resolves inaccurate XP and XP delays related to earning XP. So I'm actually a bit confused because I always thought from what the devs had said that we weren't gaining XP but you could see that sometimes you would gain some XP if you kept your eyes on your numbers. And also I was playing with some friends and I noticed that if we escaped and we left the match early you'd still retain the XP but if you died on the match and you left the match earlier then you didn't retain the xp so it's a bit confusing but it seems like they're fixing this anyway which is great there's some more fixes to some crashes and freezes key rebinding also changes to lobbies which will now launch with six players which will improve the matchmaking and let the face is still required for a match because obviously they want let the face to be the main star of the game and he is the main star of the game he is the main character of the family so he is there to stay for all matches also a little change to the quick match menu which will be now at the top of the menu but another big thing and I'm a little bit gutted about this is that they are removing the PC from crossplay and quite a few of my friends are on PC and I am on PS5 so a little bit gutted but this is temporarily what they say here is we are temporarily separating PC from the console player base in crossplay while we continue to improve our anti-cheat tools and resources so PC is out of crossplay for now and they also tuning anti-cheat what they say is we have made several improvements to our anti-cheat and protection from additional cheat resources also improve our tracking and logging for cheat detection and consistent future improvement and it sounds like there's a second edition of the Huerto Times coming later this week highlighting the next steps for the team so this is great news they're obviously working on it and it's so refreshing to have this bit of news from them I know the game has only been out for about three weeks now but people are just dying for news so this is it we've got some new nows they're working on it and there's more to come still so let's just stay tuned and see what happens guys i hope you enjoyed the video today just a little bit of news if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing drop me a like and join the channel to keep supporting content like this i do appreciate it thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time